On the 6th of May, Prince Charles will officially be coronated as the oldest person to be crowned in British history as King in Westminster Abbey. We give you the hottest spots for the procession, so you'll be able to see the famous 1762 Gold State coach and all the best places to visit in London. Westminster Abbey Before Prince Charles gets coronated at Westminster Abbey, you can make a trip to enjoy the venue by yourself. This stunning and historic tourist destination is considered one of the best places the city has to offer. The Abbey is a former medieval monastery and a royal church that has played an important role in the history of the United Kingdom for over a thousand years. Visitors to Westminster Abbey can admire its stunning Gothic architecture, including the famous fan-vaulted nave and the incredible stained-glass windows. The Abbey is also the final resting place of many famous figures, including monarchs, poets, and statesmen, making it a rich source of history and cultural heritage. Tourists can take a guided tour of the Abbey to learn about its history, art, and architecture, or attend one of the many daily services and events that take place within its walls. The Abbey is also a popular location for special events, such as royal weddings and state funerals, which are often broadcast live to the world. Up to now, 16 royal weddings have taken place in Westminster Abbey, and the tradition goes back 900 years, with the latest royal wedding being the ceremony of Prince William and Kate Middleton in 2011. London Eye Want to take a look at the coronation from above? Situated on the south bank of the River Thames, London Eye is perhaps the biggest gem London can offer tourists. The Ferris wheel offers stunning views of the city and its famous landmarks, such as Buckingham Palace, the Thames River, and Big Ben. Visitors to the London Eye can experience a unique and breathtaking view of the city from one of the 32 enclosed pods, which provide a 360-degree panoramic view of the city. The attraction is particularly impressive at night when the city is lit up and the views are even more stunning. The London Eye is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike and is a popular spot for taking photos and enjoying the panoramic views of the city. In fact, it's one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world, attracting almost 4 million tourists each year. Little Venice Around the junction of the Paddington Arm and the Grand Canal, tourists can find themselves in a hidden gem of London. Little Venice is a picturesque neighborhood in London, known for its charming waterways and historic architecture. Located in the Maida Vale area of West London, Little Venice is named after its network of canals, which are reminiscent of the canals of Venice, Italy. Visitors to Little Venice can enjoy a peaceful stroll along the canals, admiring the colorful houseboats and historic buildings that line the water. The neighborhood is also home to several cafes, restaurants, and pubs, making it a popular destination for food and drink. One of the main attractions of Little Venice is a historic junction of two canals, where visitors can admire the converging waterways and watch boats as they pass through. The neighborhood is also a popular spot for bird watching, as it's home to a variety of waterfowl and other species. Green Park Located in the heart of London, Green Park is one of the royal parks of London and is known for its peaceful natural setting in the heart of the city. It's a popular destination for tourists who are looking to escape the hustle and bustle of central London and enjoy some tranquility. Green Park covers approximately 40 hectares and is a mix of grassy lawns and mature trees. Considered a prime spot for picnics, sunbathing, and leisurely walks, visitors can admire the park's stunning floral displays and monuments, including the Canadian Memorial and the Queen Mother Memorial. The park is located between Buckingham Palace and Piccadilly, making it a convenient stop for tourists who are visiting nearby attractions such as Buckingham Palace, the Ritz London, and the shopping district of Piccadilly. Madame Tussauds Museum Madame Tussauds Museum is a popular tourist destination located just a short walk from Baker Street Underground Station in London. The museum was first opened to the public in 1835 and has since become one of the city's most famous attractions. Madame Tussauds is a unique and interactive wax figure museum featuring over 180 lifelike wax sculptures of famous celebrities, historic persons, and characters from popular culture. Visitors can expect to see well-known figures from various industries, such as entertainment, sports, and royalty, as well as figures from popular franchises such as the Marvel and Star Wars universes. The museum provides a fun and immersive experience for visitors, allowing them to interact with their favorite figures and take photos with them. 
It's estimated that a visit to Madame Tussauds will take approximately two hours, but this time is sure to be filled with excitement, emotions, and memories to last a lifetime. It's recommended that you book a timed entry slot in advance, as it's a popular attraction. Whether you're a local or a tourist, this museum is an unforgettable experience that shouldn't be missed. Big Ben Big Ben is a world-famous tourist attraction. It's the nickname of the Great Bell of the Clock Tower at the north end of the House of Parliament, which is now known as the Elizabeth Tower. The tower is completed in 1859 and has become one of London's most recognizable landmarks, known for its stunning Victorian architecture and its massive clock face. Visitors to Big Ben can admire the intricate details of the tower and learn about its history and significance to the city. Tourists can climb the stairs to the top of the tower for a panoramic view of London and see the giant clock mechanism up close. Big Ben is also a popular spot for taking photos, both during the day and at night when the tower is beautifully lit. Big Ben is surrounded by other famous attractions such as Westminster Abbey, the Thames River, and the London Eye, making it an ideal location for a day of sightseeing in the city. St. James Park The route of the procession will pass St. James Park, so it's a perfect spot to stay and enjoy yourself until the famous 1762 Gold State coach passes by with the crowned King Charles. It's a picturesque and historic park located in central London and considered a popular tourist attraction for those visiting the city. The park covers over 57 acres and is the oldest of London's royal parks with a history dating back to the 16th century. Visitors to St. James Park can enjoy its beautiful landscaped gardens, tranquil lakes, and diverse wildlife, including ducks, geese, and pelicans. The park is also home to many iconic landmarks, such as Buckingham Palace and Horse Guards Parade, and it's a popular spot for taking photos and picnicking. The park offers many recreational activities for visitors, including walking and cycling paths, playgrounds, and a cafe. In the summer months, visitors can enjoy open-air theater performances, concerts, and other special events. The National Gallery The National Gallery is a world-renowned art museum located in the heart of London. It was established in 1824 and is dedicated to showcasing some of the greatest European paintings from the Middle Ages to the 19th century, as well as some special royal exhibits. The museum's collection includes over 2,300 works of art, by some of the most famous artists in history, including Botticelli, Da Vinci, Rembrandt, Turner, and many others. Visitors to the National Gallery can admire masterpieces such as Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, Da Vinci's The Virgin of the Rocks, and Rembrandt's Self-Portrait. The National Gallery is housed in a stunning neoclassical building and is free to visit, making it a popular destination for art lovers, tourists, and locals alike. In addition to its permanent collection, the museum regularly hosts temporary exhibitions and educational programs, providing visitors with a wealth of information and opportunities to learn about art and art history. Its unparalleled collection of Western European paintings and stunning neoclassical buildings make it a unique and unforgettable experience.